Also, um, back over here and look, there's another thing that I set. And so the other one that I added was this one. So my MPR styles. So it's MS underbar MPR styles. And then you set that to where, wherever you want to have your own styles. So some of the styles that you were showing that I showed you in my list of styles are ones that I created with view myself. And then I can use those styles. And it's the same for atmosphere. So um, if you want to have your own atmospheres, you can create those in, in view. So you can create your own NPR style. You can create your own MAT file. So any view material that you create, we can use in MicroStation. You can drag and drop that into the material editor and then apply it or attach it to your geometry. Pretty cool. So let's uh, let's render this guy just to see how how it looks. So I'm going to use NPR. I don't really need relighting, um, and I'm going to say none for atmosphere active um, and I'll use exterior final to render and I'll patch it so we're going to render view two and good enough resolution <clears throat> and while this is rendering let me take a peek at the chat window okay I see a lot of people saying that they're going to give it a shot so the view render is in open building designer it, it already in there in update whatever the latest is is it seven okay so so one minute and seven seconds to render actually you know what i'm gonna instead of none let me edit this to be Title. Let me see what this is. Let's see. Uh, environment. I don't want that. One of these I think I set to use. Environment map that is using. I just want a white background I need to bake it in uh, I'm path tracing and there's really there's no alpha yet with a path tracer so it's on our list to do go to materials and patterns and I just want white white so we'll use this just a white background And that is the one I edited, right? No, it's this one. Untitled. Untitled. So now the background should be white if I render. And I'll go ahead and go with NPR again. We'll render one more time. So here's the thing too on the on the path tracer guys. Uh, it's going to use your GPU and CPU. So having a a good GPU is going to be a benefit for renders. Okay, so there's a question about how are materials that come with imported SKP handled. So when you open up a SketchUp file, SketchUp file stores the um, materials. So we just open them up. And then typically what I do is I save to a DGN anyway, because I don't care much for being, you know, in that format. And at that point, all the 
textures that are in the SketchUp file are will appear. And they will have a, I believe it's SKP underbar in the naming convention. So that's how that works. So, okay, Martin Francis is saying that he tried it on the ship projects, but the file size must have been too big. The render time very high. Huh. So, uh, Martin, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see a data set if I could. Um, and where you, I suppose you were ray tracing. But I haven't seen a case where I couldn't render large files. So I don't quite understand how that could be, but it'd be good to have uh, the data set. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and try the NPR stuff. And let's try using India Ink. And let's try using Tune and see whether or not we can get a NPR of the motorcycle. Yep, that looks pretty good, right? Maybe a little bit too heavy here. And then I might tweak the brightness up a little bit. I think that the, the all the guys that do stuff with buildings are, are really going to appreciate the the NPR, the non-photorealistic render stuff. You, you've, you've seen photorealistic render for years, and you know that early on in the project, you want to you wanna have that sketchy look. I mean, you truly can do really sketchy. I think if you pick this one that's... Uh, perspective drawing. Let's try that. Uh, okay, so this one, you see this blue? It really should be white, and I know what that is. Something to do with the Intel denoiser. There we go. That's white. Perspective drawing. Try this one. This is pretty quick here. Sketch. This is the napkin sketch. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else I might have to show in here. So I have, I'm going to post some data sets. This, this will be one of them. You've seen Dave Burdick use this lobby one a lot. Um, so I have this model. I have this one, which is the living room. And it's taking a bit longer because I put this NPR on here. So I have this data set. In fact, this data set, there's actually a couple of different scenes in there. Let me open that up. Let's go back and open this up. Yeah, okay, so, so I rendered this a couple minutes ago, but I also have next door this little scene that i've used several times before that's 
little dining dining scene. So it's a good one for just uh, if you wanted to see light coming in the window and illuminating the space. It's really cool about global illumination. And then this one here. So I've got this one, cool home, this one. Again, this was in the render book, but I've, I've tweaked a couple things in here. Make it a little brighter. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.